iPads in the classroom. They're not just for college students anymore. In fact, kindergartners all over central Indiana are using this technology to learn. But there are some dangers. Our Carlos Diaz found out that parents in the Center Grove school system are excited but cautious about the 21st century classroom. So you made you tumble books on your iPad? iPads are now in the hands of students as young as kindergartners, and the majority of the parents I talked to couldn't be happier. I think it's great that they get to use modern technology. No kid will know a life without a computer, an iPad, an iPod, a phone. It's, in a way, better for the environment. The iPad just enhances the learning experience. Let's see your puzzle piece so you got. Teachers in Center Grove love the interactive advantages of iPads. There's so many programs that have reading and math on them with our iPads that it gives a much more variety of what they're able to do. And do you find the kids are more receptive to iPads than they are to books? Oh yeah, I couldn't be happier with the Center Grove School District. Erica Higgins moved her family to the Center Grove area specifically because of the school's use of technology. But she limits how much time her kindergartner Elias spends on tablets when he gets home. Because he does get, tend to get sucked into playing and he doesn't want to go outside and play. So he gets so much time a day to get to play on the Kindle. And after that time is up, it's time to go find something else to do. Mary Morris's daughter Brittany is a sophomore at Center Grove High School with a slight learning disability. The 15-year-old finds iPads much more engaging than the books which she found difficult to read. Uh, she struggled quite a bit. It was book after book after book. It was hours of homework. We spent a lot of time crying together. <laughs> and parents are now embracing this new technology to help their kids in school. We have the opportunity to see a certain amount of their work um, through our own access. Um, so that's always a great thing as well. I can, you know, check their grades at any given time, you know, see what they had for lunch, whatever. But there can be drawbacks. With technology, you're going to have glitches. Katie Spomar has four kids using tablets in Center Grove schools, including twins in sixth grade. And she says instead of the dog ate my homework, with iPads, it's the Internet ate my homework. One of my sixth graders had difficulty submitting an assignment that was due. He tried to submit it and there was an error in the submission. So as a result, that homework assignment was counted missing. And for some parents, the drawbacks go beyond time limits and computer glitches. Cyberbullying, um, apps that shouldn't be on those iPads, I think that they're being used for the wrong reasons. Uh, Chanel Warner says she alerted the principal at Center Grove High School when one of her daughters was cyberbullied by another student using a school-issued iPad. My daughter was given a speech in one of her speech classes. Um, another student videotaped her doing the speech and then posted it to social media making fun of her doing her speech. Well, that mom, Chanel Warner, says the students will hold up their iPads like they're doing work in the classroom, but they're really recording video. Center Grove's Mobile Minds policy says cyberbullying is strictly forbidden, and school administrators we spoke with calm that there are locks and li limits on the iPads, which prevent this, and kids can't download outside apps on the iPad. So what's the price of high-tech learning? $125 a year to rent them. That's at Center Grove High School.